What's going on, everyone? This is Brian, and we're back with another Coffee Talk. I'm here with Alex again, and uh, today we're going to be talking about misconceptions of crema. Um, so, Alex, uh, what has been your experience with uh, crema and, you know, how it makes your coffee taste better or worse? What's your experience? Hi, Ryan. Um, crema. Um my experience with crema has been more of more of a sign of a good espresso rather than sort of actually something that I would want to overemphasize. Um, yeah, so to me, crema is more of a good indicator of a good espresso. Um, it tells me whether my espresso has been too, if it's too thin or if it's just right. Um, yeah, so when I find that I that my grind is too fine, or it's, or I mean, if it's too coarse, then the then the crema would be too thin. Um, yeah, and then if my grind is just right, or if I've over extracted, then the crema would, um, and respectively, then the crema would look nice, golden, um, a good, um, at a good, um, at a good thickness, or or if I've grinded too fine, then. It would just look really, really dark. So if it, so if the espresso has been over extracted, um, yeah. And in turn, yeah. And I think many people feel that crema is something that should be overemphasized. And it, so when I say if it's overemphasized, that like they look heavily on the crema rather than on the on the espresso body itself. So you would. So you would concentrate on the looks of the crema rather than actually tasting what the espresso, like how the t how the espresso tastes like. Yeah, so sure. I think. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so that is how I feel. Feel how so that is how I feel um, when people talk about crema. Um, yeah, so I so to me, I only take crema as an as a good indicator of a good espresso. Um, yeah. So, so when so so because so since I feel that it is a good indicator, like like so, I think it might be good to talk about what is crema. Yeah, for me, it's like um, yeah, you're right. It's it's not about the more crema, the better, or the less crema. It's not good. Um, ultimately, yes, crema has a part in uh, good espresso. Um, and of course we can talk about what crema is and you know, it's during the brewing process of, uh, of espresso making your, uh, gas, like I, I, I mean, I'm not going to go into the sciencey things about it, um, simply because I, I'm not an expert about the science part. Maybe you might have a little more information about that. Um, or we can, you know, post up a little bit more information down the road in terms of the science behind everything. But uh, essentially, you know, the crema is, is suspending, uh, of the oils and the coffee oils and from the gas that's produced during the uh, pressurized process of espresso making. Um, and that's what creates the lighter um, uh, uh, foam, so to speak, or sort of suspended bubbles of the, the crema that you see that's on the top of the espresso. So um, I guess, you know, the misconception is that the more the crema, the better. If you have no crema, then you know your coffee doesn't taste good at whatsoever. Um, of course, crema is an ever-changing variable in your espresso making, and um, it's not the end-all, be-all of you know what makes a good espresso. I think so. I mean, that's why the misconception is there that you know it has to have x amount of crema uh in your cup or else it's not good right yeah so i mean what what um what else though like you know what else can affect crema like i mean i know certain beans can affect crema as well so like robusto beans for example like if you use pull the shot with robusto beans versus you know arabica beans like you know what kind of differences would you see there um so uh, yeah, so Arabica beans and, and Robusta beans. So these are two species of beans. And I and from what I've seen and observed, um, Robusta, beans, Robusta beans tends to create more crema. Um, for the science behind it, 
I'm not too sure, but that could possibly be down to the nature of how the beam is is constructed naturally. Um, another thing that could affect the crammer, um, to the amount of crammer, would also be down to how much roast, how much roasting it has been done to it. So for Arabica beans, um, I find that more darker beans, like more, like if it has been ro roasting more darker, and there's a lot of oil. So since yeah, and I find that it also tends to build up a lot of crammer. Um, another thing that I find that could 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 um, could create a lot of crema would be if you if you brew espresso or if you pour a shot of espresso which has been recently roasted so this is something that i found so like this could be so this may not occur for all beans um so yeah so i found that if i so if i pour a shot of espresso with coffee that has been roasted for about one or two days ago it tends to bloom a bit bit more and that could be due to it, there's a lot of gas in the bean so hence that would expand the crema a lot more so yeah so this is what i've observed in terms of the amount of crema being produced um, yes. yeah with freshly roasted beans um i mean it's you know there's different timings that are recommended but uh generally like most most folks say that you should wait about a week, a few days, five, seven days before you start uh, making espresso uh, from a freshly roasted bean because there's that off gassing. Um, and I think it's true. Like if you, what you said about, you know, making espresso right off the roast, it's, it's going to produce more crema because it hasn't had that time to off gas, right? Yeah, that's true. So leave your beans for a bit more if you want to make espresso, yeah. unless, you, unless if you want to drink brewed. Right. So yeah, I think um, crema is important. Um, it's a part of espresso making. Um, if you have no crema whatsoever, it's a telltale sign that uh, the espresso hasn't been extracted uh, correctly, um, so to speak, and you're perhaps not extracting the potential flavors that are in that uh, uh, coffee grind. So it's a big part of espresso making. It's there, um, but it's not a telltale sign of good or bad espresso. And it doesn't mean that the espresso will taste bad. Uh, it doesn't mean that espresso, espresso will taste good either. So, um, you know, it's, it's just a good indicator and a signal to, you know, you coffee uh, makers that, you know, if your if your extraction is is correct and if your uh, bean is fresh, and uh, what type of roast roasting process the bean has gone through, Alex, do you have any in the comments? Yeah, I think yeah, I think crema should only be a good indicator of a good espresso, and so like what I've been saying, it shouldn't be overemphasized. If you've got crema, then yes, then then just enjoy the taste of the espresso. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, remember to leave your comments. So, you know, you can also uh, send us videos of any sort of crema shots that you have as well, and uh, we love to see them. Thanks for watching.